heavenly language, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, come on, begin to speak in your heavenly language. And if you believe in the power of prayer, begin to touch and agree in this place. Come on, powerhouse. Let's begin to get on one accord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's send up our voice. Be cold. Come on, let's speak in our heavenly language. Uh, let's say. Come on, begin to help me. Uh, start this place. Uh, even intercessors online. Wherever you are, uh, begin to join in. Uh, Get 
soul today. Your soul. Everything that we need. Release it to us. Every answer. Every question.
for your love? Was it for your grace? Somebody say that. If it wasn't for your love, was it for your grace? Was it for your grace? Was it for your love? For your love. Was it for your grace? Was it for your grace? Was it for your love? Was it for your grace? Over this room, just begin to lift up a sound of worship. Hallelujah. If it wasn't for your love, woo, if it wasn't for your grace, anybody know about them twins, grace and mercy? If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, woo, so Lord, I thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Anybody thankful this morning? If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, you are awesome. You are awesome. Hey, you are awesome. Whoa. When I think about the ways you've made, you are awesome. Oh, you are awesome. When I think about the doors you've opened, you are awesome. Anybody know he is awesome? You are awesome. Come on, lift up your hand to the Lord and say, you are awesome. There's nobody like you, Lord. Can you turn it down just a little bit? You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Come on, let your voice sing to the Lord. You are awesome. You are awesome. Come on, think about what he's done for you and say, You are awesome. 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 Say, Mighty.
let the Lord hear you. From heaven above with wings. Power and love. Some power oh. and love. Our God is an awesome Give me one hit. God. Say our God. an awesome God. He the Lord reigns. That means that he rules over every situation that you go through. That means that he's in control of everything that you've got to face. That means that he is the author of finisher of everything that you got to go through. So even on a bad day, I said even on a bad day, we know that the Bible says all things work together for the good of them who anybody love them this morning. Come on, if you love him one more time, just say, God, our God, he is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind, some power and love. Our God is an awesome. I want to hear y'all say it one more time. Uh -huh. yeah. is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Power and love. Some power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Can you just say this? Say nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. Say nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. Say nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. Say our God is an awesome God. Say it again. Say nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. 
come on, sing to the Lord. Say, nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. Say, nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. I got. Now this time I want you to say this. Say, you're in control of me. You're in control of me. Say, you're in control of me. You're in control of me. Say, you're in control of me. You're in control of me. Say, our God is an awesome God. Say it again. Say, you're in control of me. You're in control of me. Say, you're in control of me. You're in control of me. Say, you're in control of me. Say my life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. Say my life is in your hands. My, life is my in God. My God is in awesome. Yeah. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. Say my life is in your hands. Say my life is in your hands. My God. My God is in awesome. Yeah. Nothing compares to you. You're in control of me. You're in control of me. And my life is in your hands. Our God. Our God is in your yeah. hands. One more time. Say nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. And you're in control of me. You're in control. Our God. Our God is in your hands. One more time. God. Yeah. is in your hands. That's good news for somebody. My life is in your hands. Yes, Lord. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. See, you're in control of me. You're in control of me. Everything concerning me. You're in control of me. Everything concerning me. You're in control of me. You're in control of me. You're in control of me. Nothing compares Nothing compares to you. 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 Nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings. Some power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Come on, if you know he's an awesome God, come on, put your hands together. If you know he's an awesome God, if you know he reigns and he rules, come on, put your hands together. Let's thank God. 
Come on, how many came to church this morning to worship an awesome God? You came through the rain, you came through the storm to worship an awesome God. And now that you're here, you might as well lift up the King of Kings. Lift up the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We lift you up this morning. We give you praise. Hey, we give you glory. Oh! We give you glory and we give you honor. We thank you this morning. Come out of see You say God praise. It's commonly for the upright. So God, we put a praise in our lips and we tell you thank you. We put a hallelujah on our tongue and we tell you thank you. We clap our hands this morning and we say thank you. We clap our hands and we say thank you. We give you glory. Hey, we give you honor. Hey. Yes, Lord. Shandara Baho. Yes, God. I need somebody that came to church this morning. I need you to lose whatever you came in here with. I need you to give it to the burden bearer this morning. And I need you to put your hands together. And come on, let's clap them. Come on, church, let's ascend together. Let's go up together. Come on, when we go up together, he's going to meet us in the midst. Come on, Zion. How do you ascend? You ascend by praising him. You ascend by lifting him up. You ascend by giving him glory. Come on, shout glory. Glory. glory hey come on we give him glory we give him honor we give oh woohoo shut up yes lord yeah. and we give him thanksgiving and we thank him and we thank him and we thank him and we thank him because he's worthy and we thank him because he's God he's bigger than my problem he's bigger than everything that I came in here with so I'm not gonna be deceived this morning I'm gonna lift him up I'm gonna give him glory and give him honor hallelujah yes Lord glory to Jesus my soul love him this morning. How many of your shy? How many people do your soul love him this morning? Look at your neighbor and say, my soul love him. My soul love him. I may have fell out of love with somebody this morning, but my soul, my soul is in love with Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. You may have your seats. In the presence of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank him. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for all of our first time visitors. If you're visiting with us here the, for the first time, on behalf of our pastor, our bishop, Bishop Keith Al McQueen, we want to welcome you here to the Powerhouse Church of Chicago. Amen. Our bishop has is not been able to be here this morning. He was at the airport, and unfortunately, the because of weather, his flight was delayed. Amen. And so he ministered in Atlanta on Friday and Saturday. Amen. And so he called me this morning from the airport, and he had missed his flight. So Bishop is not be able to be here this morning, but we thank God that Jesus is here. Amen. Jesus is here. Amen. We want you all to remember that habitation is here. Habitation is here. Amen. We thank God for our habitation conference. It, it happens every year. Last year it was in Indianapolis. This year it is here in Chicago. And for you, those of you all that don't know, Powerhouse Church Chicago is the global headquarters for the Powerhouse Church Network. Amen. Amen. And so this year we'll have with us, amen, uh, B. Slade will be with us starting on Thursday night. And then on Wednesday, we will be here. We will be in what we call our seek session with an awesome, uh, I'm speaking in a Grammy Award winning, Stella Award winning um, minister, Marika Chisholm. And then we'll have back with us, amen. She'll be with us here on our seek session along with our minister, Dave Martin, and our uh, powerhouse praise team. Also, we will also have on Thursday, somebody say Thursday. We will be at the Apostolic Church of Morgan Park. Amen. We will be there. It's on 114th. I don't have the exact address in front of me, but it's on 114th in Vincent. We will be there on Thursday, on Thursday, Thursday night. Amen. Doors will open, I believe, between 646 and 645. Amen. I, do, I dare you to get there early because we know the saints are coming from far and from near. Amen. You want to make sure that you will have a seat secured in the place. 
On Thursday night, we will have with us uh, Psalmist Marika Chisholm again. Uh, man, Brother Daryl Walls will be with us on Thursday night. And also our speaker for that night will be uh, none other than B. Slade. Amen. And last year, he was a highlight. I love everybody. But last year, he was a highlight of our Saturday morning session. Amen. So I'm expecting to God to be using him on a greater way. Amen. And we have B. Slade on that Thursday. And then we're going to our Black Tie Gala. Hallelujah. Royal Imagination. I thank God I just got my tux yesterday, so I'm all ready and set. Amen. And we're ready for our Black Tie Gala. We do have a sale that is going on today, Saints. Um, as Minister AJ and Evangelist Deer pointed out, the sale is going on this Till, till today, till today, the sales are going today. Hey Amen. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Normally they are higher priced than this, but we definitely want you to get your tickets. And then Saturday morning, Saturday morning, somebody say Saturday. So we are traveling back to the Apostolic Church of Morgan Park. We will be there early in the morning for our O Morning Glory session. With a prayer session will be with Apostle San Franklin. Amen. She will be with us that Saturday morning. And then that, eve that afternoon we have a working lunch. So you don't have to worry about uh, going out to get lunch. We are making sure that there will be um, lunch provided for you there. And then we will go into our session with Pastor Kevin Mullins. And then we will also have another session, amen, for uh, marketing and branding. Amen. And then we have our youth that are going forth, I believe, on that Saturday night as well. We give them their own space and time to, amen, seek the Lord with us. And then on Sunday morning, amen, it is the culmination of everything. It is our official day, and that is a day that we will be, amen, licensing, licensing and ordaining some people into their destiny and into their calling. Amen. And that service will start at 1030 a.m. again at the Apostolic Church of Morgan Park. And then on Sunday night to conclude everything. We will have our concert. Amen. It will be at the Apostolic Church of Morgan Park. Amen. At 645 I believe that night. Amen. It will be with Brother Dexter Walker and Zion Movement. Amen. Randy and Judah Band. They will be with us at our own Voices of Power Choir. Hallelujah. Under the direction of Brother J.T. Allen. Amen. We want you to keep all those announcements in mind and do remember, amen, that we will want to see you there. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, am I going to see you there? Amen. Answer them back and don't lie. Amen. <laughs> We're looking for a high time in the Lord. Amen. It's giving time at Powerhouse. Amen. We thank God for everyone that is here. We thank for all of our tithers. We thank God for our Levites. Amen. They are coming through with an envelope, as our bishop says, to make sure that you have your offering. Amen. This is a time where everybody can partake in. Maybe you couldn't partake in the singing. Maybe you couldn't partake in leading the prayer. But you can partake in the offering. Amen. And it's good when you are blessed to give into the house of God. God declares in his word in, Mar in Malachi that if you bring bring, amen, your substance to his house, he'll make room in your house. Amen. So anything you need God to do for you, amen, he'll make room for it in your house. Amen. Amen. While you're getting your tithes and offerings together, amen, we will have our electronic giving will be to my uh, right and your left. Amen. Amen. Let's get ready to give. We have a short look. Easter speech sermon for you that we're going to get you on your way to enjoy your Sunday. Amen? Amen. We thank our Father, our tithers, and on our screen is the, all, the, all the ways that you can give. Amen. You can do text to give. You can give on, online, or you can give through your cash, and make sure your or check, but make sure it's saved and sanctified in the bank. Amen? We don't believe in bounce back power in banks. Amen? Amen. God is good to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Standing all over the building, let's go into our, dec our decrees. Amen. We bless all of our tithers this morning. All of our tithers, we thank God for you. Amen. And we're going to read our declaration. One thing about Powerhouse, we are a decreeing church because we believe that we are speaking beings. And so as we are a decreeing church, these, these decrees do come to pass. I will say one week we declared this, and I think I had got two unexpected checks in the mail. Hallelujah. Didn't want to expect it, but it did show up in the mail. Amen. Amen. Does somebody have a mic to help me read this? Amen. So let's say it all together. Amen. As we receive today's tithes, offerings, and first fruits, we declare that as a church, this is our 2022 year of prophetic yes, alignment. Sir. 
We call in all the necessary finances to build this church. We declare every powerhouse campus is out of debt and owners of much land, financial resources, and great wealth. We declare over every powerhouse family, jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, favorable settlements, estates and inheritance, interests and incomes, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, debts paid off, expenses decrease, blessing and increase, heavens open, earth invaded, storehouses unlocked and miracles created, dreams and visions, angelic visitations, declarations, impartations and divine manifestations. Thank you, Lord, for meeting all my financial needs that I may have more than enough to give into the kingdom of God and promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Money coming to the body of Christ, money coming to me now, you are bringing me into my wealthy place. wealthy place. We thank you that Father as we sow today, we are making a deposit on the increase that you're going to let us see make manifest when we leave this building. Father, we're not going to wait till some Monday to declare the favor, but we decree and declare that when we walk out of here on a Sunday, God, that you will give us a financial breakthrough. Father, we decree and declare that every tither that is tithing this morning, they shall be blessed above and beyond the measure that they are giving today in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that the devourers shall be rebuked today and we thank you father that as you are giving us the ability to sow that we are breaking cycles that cycles of poverty cycles of lack cycles of affliction are being broken today by the power of the seed and we give our seed an assignment today and we say go forth and multiply in jesus name it is so and so it is follow the direction of our levites in the back of the church wonderful things about Jesus so many wonderful things about him so many wonderful things about Jesus so many wonderful things about him his name is wonderful He's a wonderful counselor. He is the Prince of Peace. Everlasting Father. Oh, so many wonderful things about him. So many wonderful things about Jesus. So many wonderful things about him. So many wonderful things about Jesus. So many wonderful things about him. Hallelujah. How many know he's a wonderful God? Hallelujah. Amen. Again, we thank God for everyone that is here. Amen. We thank God that you are here. And we thank God for all those that are watching online. As our bishop like to say, let's like, tag, and share. Amen. Truly, there is a word from the Lord. Amen. We, I do count it an honor to stand. Even though I am the executive pastor, I do count it an honor to stand in our stead of our bishop because it is an honor to, first of all, minister to you all because I love all of you all from the bottom of my heart. Amen. And I'm so honored to be able to have this opportunity. Um, I've been on my face this morning before the Lord to ask him what did he want to say. And we're going to stay within the same frame that Bishop has talked about. How many enjoyed uh, Wednesday night? Amen. The Wednesday night was so awesome. The Spirit of the Lord met us here. And I was seeing testimonies that the Spirit of the Lord still rested on people Thursday and even into Friday. And we want to get to a place back to worship. Amen. Amen. And forgive me, I do want to honor, amen, I did get to call his name, Brother Otis Mack. Amen. Let's thank God for him. He will be hosting, amen, our gala. And I'm excited because he is a legend with, is a legend. As somebody say, Google him, you'll find out. Amen. Amen. And so I thank God for him. And let's thank God also because he was able to instrumental along with Minister Jovan for us going down to Pride. Amen. People, y'all don't know that them chairs that we sat in, Minister Jovan made that possible. Amen. So we thank God for her. We thank God for the evangelistic anointing that's on her life. Amen. And that made that possible. And from that, from that, uh, I don't know about you all, but I had an awesome time. I was weeping in the Lord to see God touch people that didn't expect church out there. Amen. We brought church to them. Amen. 
Amen. It was a wonderful thing. Hallelujah. So we're going to get into the word of the Lord this morning. I ask you to pray for me. Amen. So I can say my Easter speech and sit down. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Song says, Wonderful. 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 In my life you are wonderful. 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 In my life you are, Lord, wonderful. Let's tell him his glorious, glorious, hey, glorious, oh, glorious. In my life you are, Lord, glorious. He's so wonderful, wonderful. How many know he's wonderful this morning? Wonderful. Wonderful. In my life you are, Lord. Wonderful. And he's done so many marvelous things. Marvelous. Marvelous. Hallelujah. Marvelous. Oh, marvelous. In my life you are, Lord. Marvelous. He's so wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. In my life, you are, Lord. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Song says, Hallelujah. Arise, O Lord, and demonstrate your power. Arise, O Lord, and demonstrate. Demonstrate your power, arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power, arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power, arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate. Hey. Hey, demonstrate your power. Hey, demonstrate your power. Hey, demonstrate your power. 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 Arise, 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 O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh Lord, hey, and demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate, hey, demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your power. And demonstrate your power. Arise, hey, arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate. Demonstrate your power, arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power, arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power, arise, O oh Lord, 
and demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh Lord, and demonstrate your power. Father, we thank you that it is the interest of your word that gives life. Father, we worship you this morning and we ask you that you arise today. Arise in our worship. Arise in our thought patterns. Arise in our thinking. Father, we want to honor you today. We want to give you glory today. So, Father, we come and we worship you this morning. God, we don't have any other agenda this morning but to worship you. We don't have any other thought pattern but to worship you. So, Father, we ask you to arise. You say arise as you let your enemies be scattered. Let the enemy of dumbness, let the enemy of deafness, let the enemy of ignorance be scattered today. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your glory and let your word come forth and have free course in this your people today. In the name of Jesus, Father, we call on Jehovah Jehovah to do battle on our half, we call on Jehovah to seek anew the Lord, our righteousness. God, when we appear before you, we appear righteous. We appear as already being right with you. So, Father, we say, arise. We have enemies that came in here with us. But, God, arise this morning. Arise. 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 Arise, arise. in our our worship arise in our hand clapping arise in our foot stomping God God we need you this morning and we ask you to send an anointing that makes preaching easy, quicken destinies, reveal callings. Let the eye of the Lord stand up in this place this morning. And we promise to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. It is so, and so it is. Hallelujah. My scripture this morning is Luke 5, 12 through 13. Hallelujah. I thank God for the worshipers this morning. Hallelujah. And it reads, and it came to pass when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face and besought him saying, Lord, if thou, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And he put forth his hand and touched him saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. If you would help me to announce my text to your neighbor and said, neighbor, worship rewarded me with a yes. Worship rewarded me with a yes. My worship got me a yes. I had a no before, but my worship got me a yes. Hallelujah, because I bowed down and I worship God. I did follow what everybody else said. My worship got me my yes. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The Gospel of Luke is written by the evangelist, and I know that evangelist Christina and minister Jovan, who are having a heavy evangelistic anointing on their lives, would appreciate the gospel of Luke. Luke writes this word to us, and he was a companion to Paul, and in, he reveals to us how the Holy Spirit plays in more, a very more important role than in other gospels. We have to understand, my sisters and my brothers, that when we go and we have the Holy Ghost, that he encompasses us, and he helps us to have a worship-filled lifestyle. Amen. I believe that anybody can praise because the Bible says the rocks will cry out and they will praise and we know there's no rocks inside of them but it takes a special person that is endowed with the spirit of God to go into what we call worship and as we realize that the spirit of worship requires them requires you to worship him and spirit and truth according to St. John 4 and 24. Amen. The Holy Spirit is that spirit of truth. We have to look at here in our text that here is a man who has been 
has an advanced form of leprosy. And according to the law to cleanse leprosy given to Moses and Amrit in Leviticus, the 13th chapter, the, what they had to do was when you had the, the instance of leprosy in your flesh, the Bible declares that you had to go before the priest, you had to go before man, and you had to tell them that I have a form of leprosy. You have to understand, my sisters and my brothers, that leprosy does not, I feel preaching power, that leprosy does not start off, it does not start off as something that spreads to the body, but it starts off as one little thing. And I want to say to you, as you can look at my text here, to appreciate it, to let it relate to you, that your problem that you have, the issue that you have, it didn't start off all over one place. It started out as one single thing. And as leprosy is seen, when you first see leprosy, it is almost equivalent to eczema today. But leprosy, when you had leprosy, you had to go show yourself before the priest. And when you showed yourself before the priest, there was a set of standards and there was a set of rules that you had to abide by. Amen. The first set of rules that you had to abide by was that you had to be cleansed and you had to be go through a cleansing. And that cleansing was you had to be separated from your family. You had to be separated for seven days. And so for seven days, you have to be separated from your family and from your friends. And then after the seventh day, you went back to the priest. And you say, look, priest, I did what you said. I've done what you said to do. The law of Moses tells me that I have to separate. And isn't that like you, my brothers and my sisters, that you have done everything you could do. You've done everything that you tried to do. And it still looks like things have not changed. Things are not moving. Things are not going the way you wanted to go. And you're saying, I'm done everything that they told me to do I did everything I did everything y'all told me but it still didn't work the Bible declares after that the priest had to examine them after the priest examines them he then tells them go back another seven days and then you must separate yourself for another seven days so that means you are set apart. And what the enemy tries to do whenever you're in affliction is to let a, let a spirit of rejection come upon you that you feel like you are, that something is wrong with you and that you cannot be what God has called you to be. You cannot do what God has called you to do because the spirit has entered into you by the way of affliction. And so you're separated for seven days. And as you're separated for seven days, you're mulling over your head. They told me to wash with this. They told me to do it this way. They told me to do it that way. And it seems like it's just not working like they told me to. And so then, if leprosy isn't cleansed in the next seven days, that's 14 days. And I mean, no, it takes seven days to create a habit in your life. And so now you got into a habit of rejection. You got into a habit of being by yourself. After the seven days I uh, complete the second set, you then go back to the priest. And when you go back to the priest, if the leprosy has not been cleaned, you are now banned to go outside the city gates. The leper in our text was not doing something that was legally right. The leper in our text, it says he was inside of the city. Well, number one, he could have went to jail or been stoned to death because he was inside of the city because his prognosis said, I'm too bad, I'm bad, and I'm too bad to be inside of the city because if they did be in the city, they had to cry out, unclean, unclean. And they went through a process that anywhere they went to, they would have to cry out, unclean, unclean. What if God had to make you cry out your condition this morning? What if God had to make you cry, a liar, liar, cheater, cheater, backstabber, backstabber, sowing seeds of discord, discord, and you had to walk by and, they had to, and you were identified by what you suffered with. How many thank God for Jesus this morning that his blood covers us? His blood doesn't allow us to be called out by our mistakes. And if I make a mistake before I get here, even though you didn't see it, he saw it, but he still forgave me. And so when we look at leprosy, it is, in the Bible, it's a vivid and graphic physical picture of spiritual defilement of sin. When you were pronounced with leprosy, that means that you had sinned somewhere. That means there was sin in your life and you messed up so bad. So we look at this man 
he's is against the law. He's inside the city gates. Because did you say Jesus was outside the gates? He said he was inside the gate. He was inside the city. And so this man got to Jesus. And when you get on the pursuit of worship, you got to learn how to break every natural law in your mind that you set up. Because let's say right here. That natural mind that we set up in our mind is that I can't be what God has said I can be. What the natural mind says, I messed up too many times. I've done too many things. Yes, I've gotten forgiveness. Yes, the pastor. Yes, the bishop. Yes, the deacon. Yes, the evangelist. They met with me. Even some of our ministers, they met with me. And it seemed like this problem won't go away. And so what happens is, is that you're saying, ah, what am I going to do? Because you're now in a state of de desperation because what this leper has begun to do, he has gotten comfortable in his predicament. But we have to look at this leper got in his mind. He said, if I get to Jesus, something's going to change. <laughs> If I get to Jesus, I know that he'll turn things around. I know there's a man in the city, and the song says he's healing. And if I get to this man, I know that he's going to heal me. I know he's going to deliver me, and I know he's going to set me free. But I got to break the law to get to him. A lot of times in our mind, and I, had to, I, went to a, I went to another church and I heard this definition of what humility is. And what humility really is is when you fall in line with agreement with what God says about you. A lot of times we're not in agreement with what God says about us because we're looking at our humanity. We're looking at what we're not. We're looking at what we couldn't do. We're looking at how we messed up so bad. We're looking at, hey, man, that I can't do this right because of this, because of that. And, it's, and the God is saying, I don't care what you've done because when you become in Christ, you are a new creature and old things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. We need to get back to the gospel of preaching about being born again. I don't care what you were born into. I don't care if your mama was a liar. I don't care if your daddy was a liar. My daddy was a rolling stone. I don't care if you had a parenthood that you didn't have parents. But when you come into Christ, you are given the ability to be born again. That means all things have become new. You can become everything that God called you to be. But now you have to come in an agreement with God and say, God, I'm going to come out of the law of my mind. The law of my mind says I can't do. The law of my mind says I can't be. The law of my mind says that I can't do this. But when I break the law and get to Jesus, it gets me to a place of healing. You have to realize that the man, when he was outside of the city, when he was condemned, he did everything that they told him that he was supposed to do. He cleansed seven, he stood aside seven days, cleansed the second seven days, and guess what? It didn't work. I come to talk to you this morning about that hard situation. I come to talk to you this morning about that situation that you said is not going to move. I'm believing God for an impossible thing. And you have to realize that when the, we see sometimes we want the situation to get okay before we believe God. Because if it's okay, we feel like God don't have time to come deal with it because, you know, he got the whole world in his hands. And he tried to deal with everything over in Africa and Asia and they fight in the Ukraine. So God got to deal with all that. But you, you don't think that God's concerned about your problem. You don't think that God's concerned about your problem that you're going through. And you don't think that God is concerned about what you're going through right now. But I want to encourage you, my sisters and my brothers, that if you bring your problem to Jesus, that he's able to make that situation right. One thing I realize about the symptoms of leprosy is, number one, it has a smell of decaying flesh. Sin stinks in the nostrils of God. The Bible declares that anything that's not of faith is sin. So if I'm walking in fear, if I'm walking in degradation, if I'm walking in suspicion, I have to tell somebody that suspicion is a form of fear as well, and it doesn't come from God, because God don't have you suspicious about nobody, because he said in 1 Corinthians 13, that love believes the best of every person. So it's not walking around suspicious all the time. When you walk around in suspicion, you walk around in the spirit of fear. You have to remember that fear brings about torment. And the Bible declares, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but a power and of love 
kind of a sound mind. That sound mind means my emotions are in check. That sound mind means I'm not looking at my brother, my sister, looking for the next person to hurt me just because the other was did. Because I had to learn that sometimes that I may have did something for it to happen, but if I didn't do anything for it to happen, I'm just like Jesus. Because Jesus said that if the world hates you, it hated me first. So how dare we ask God something or tell God that something is wrong with us when somebody don't like us? Because he said they're not going to like you. He said, but what you got to do is like them back. Like them first. And then we have a toeless feet. And when you have a toeless feet, when you have leprosy, that means your feet begin, the toes on your feet begin to fall off. And when you have a toeless feet, that means you cannot move forward. You are stuck in one place. The Bible declares that we move from glory to glory and from faith to faith. So where you are right now, you're not going to be the same person you're going to be in the next 24 hours because God designed us to move from faith to faith and from glory to glory. The next thing you have is sightless eyes. Sightless eyes. Some people, when they have leprosy, you see them in the old movies, their, their eyes are bandages up because the leprosy gets so eyes fall out. And so the sin of leprosy caused this man to be in a place where he couldn't even see his future being bright anymore. He couldn't see hope in the future. He couldn't see that God was going to turn some things around. He couldn't see, but his intellect, his inner eye said, if I just get to Jesus, I know everything is going to be all right. Um, and then we have, we have numbness. And when we look at numbness, it means to be deprived of physical sensation or the ability to move. Hallelujah. We have to realize that when you get numb, sometimes you can go through so much in life that you begin numb, that you begin to become callous. And you can't, you're not a person that's walking in love anymore. You just walk around mean all the time because of what happened to you. You're walking around mean and don't know why I can't receive love because I've been so hurt in the church. I've been so hurt by people that I let so close to me that now I become numb. And so now leprosy has gotten to me and now I'm in a place of numbness. Yeah. I've lost sight with God because I had the smell of decaying flesh. And I don't know about you, if I smell something funny, I, I want to get away from it the quickest way I can. And so when God smells sin that's unrepentant in your heart, he smells that sin and it goes up into his nostrils as a distasteful smell. And so what he does is he hides himself from you. You have a toeless feet, meaning you can't move forward. You have sightless eyes, meaning that you can't see hope in the future. Pain in certain areas of your body. The Bible said that a wounded spirit who can bear because some of us sometimes, and I've always said that sometimes if I pray for you, I may lay hands on Elder Friday, may pray for you. We lay hands on your belly. Because reason why? Because a lot of the things you went through is lodged in your belly. And all about Messiah. The Bible declares in Proverbs that when you when we when you when negative words are spoken against you, it lodges in your belly. And so sometimes we have to pray for your belly. And sometimes you may feel like cat scratching on the inside of your belly, and it makes you start to begin to puke up stuff. Because what he's doing is he's healing everything that goes down to you. Your belly but what has happened is that you become wounded by life you become wounded by what people have said wounded what people have done wounded by how they didn't love you my mama was supposed to love me right my sister and brother was supposed to be with me my daddy was supposed to love me right but he didn't love me because of my sexual orientation he didn't love me because of how i showed up at the family reunion he didn't love me by how i live my life every day they didn't love me they threw me away and said that we we will got to deal with you but we but 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 i found a place called powerhouse church of chicago that offered me a place of sanctity i found a place like powerhouse church of chicago and a man by the the name of Bishop Keith Andreas Howard McQueen that offered me a well of water that I can come to church. I don't have to lie about who my spouse is. I don't have to lie about how I present myself, but I can be who God has called me to be. And guess what? He still loves me because I'm now worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Because I've been brought to a place where the water is. And we look at here that the leprous 
Leprosy was viewed as a curse from God. But how many know that Jesus, according to Galatians, the third chapter, and the 13th verse, he says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. So that curse that you may feel like I can't get nothing right, I can't do nothing right, the devil is a liar. What am I doing today? I'm prepping your mind for the revival that's about to hit this city on Wednesday, July, I believe it is the 20th or the 24th, I believe the 20th. Amen. I'm preparing your head for your spirit for the revival because when God comes, God's going to probably use you and challenge you in a way that you've never been challenged before. And the thing is, you have to get up off your, off your behind, so to say. And say, God, I'm tired of wrestling with sickness. I'm tired of wrestling with things in my mind that won't let me serve you right. I'm tired of dealing with issues in my life. And God, I'm just willing to say I'm here and I'm willing to do what you call me to do. We have to look at the leper. He got in his mind said that there's something better. There's something better. There's something better out there for me. You can't go from glory to glory, from faith to faith, unless you realize there is something better. How many out here, you got a mindset that there's something better? I know there's something better on the horizon of where I am. You watching online, there's something better ahead of you. And so God is saying, can you lift your faith up today and just believe me to say, I can do it. Because I want to deal with a lie that the enemy says that you can't do it, that God's not able, and that God don't care. But he's a liar because God is able. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that I may ask or think. So I have to cast down the enemy that comes into my mind and says that I cannot do things that God has called me to do. And so we have to look at this text. And in my text, the leper, I'm back to my text this tonight, this morning. The leper is in this, in our text. And he's saying, he's saying, I had to, I break the law. I'm breaking the law in my mindset. I'm breaking the law in what I thought. I'm breaking the law and now I'm getting to Jesus. I'm getting to the one one that can save me. I'm getting to the one that can deliver me. I'm going to the one who's in the city because the Bible declares that he heard that he was in a certain city and he began to go to Jesus and the first thing he didn't do was he didn't go to him asking him anything. The first thing he did was was he worshiped God. The Bible declares that he bowed down and he said God if you be willing will you make me clean. That form of bowing down was a form of worship. It was given giving up my own thinking, giving up my own mindset, giving up my own way of doing things and saying, God, I lay it down, but I got some issues. Are you willing to touch my issue? And Jesus is saying, I am willing to touch it. And when the Bible declares that when he touched it, it wasn't the next day. It was immediately that the leprosy was cleansed. You have to understand that his hope and his faith was built upon Jesus again because Jesus said, what it took you 14 days to do I did it right then and there and if you give God your situation I declare to you today uh, that God will turn uh, your situation and he'll move your situation from impossible to possible if you realize today uh, that God uh, I can't fix uh, my problem uh, I can't fix uh, what's happened to me uh, but God I'm turning uh, to you now uh, I'm bringing my issue uh, and I'm laying it down on the altar I'm bringing my issue you and I'm laying it down and saying God help me one more time God move me from this place of uncertainty God move me from this place of being messed up God move me from this place of feeling like I can't do it on my own God move me to a place of believing in you again but God I tried and I tried I tried and I tried and I I found out uh, that I couldn't do it on my own. Uh, I found out uh, that they couldn't nobody uh, help me uh, but Jesus. Uh, I found out uh, that he was a burden bearer. I found out uh, that he was a heavy load sharer. I found out uh, that he was my God. Uh, and besides him, uh, there was no other. Uh,
found out that he is God and besides him there is none other so what I had to do I had to get down on my knees and worship God and say God I worship you but God as I worship you I did everything they told me to do I did everything they recommended the doctors said do this the doctors said do that but God I'm on my knees crying Lord oh Lord help me help me and will you make me clean the thing is sometimes we ask God to do something that may be impossible but we don't ask definite requests we don't say God I want you to heal my body God I got HIV in my body I want you to heal me and make me clean we don't say God I have in my body cancer God I want you to make me clean God I got in my body diabetes I want you to make me clean no what we say is God you heal me but the leper he got definite he got definite in his request he say God I have leprosy I call out my position I'm calling out my issue I'm not hiding my issue anymore I'm not hiding my problem anymore I'm bringing it to you I came out of shame I came out of degradation and now Lord I'm on my knees saying help me saying help me and what reached Jesus was not his condition what reached Jesus was not his problem but what reached Jesus was the fact that he got in his mind he said when I got in my mind when I gave God my problem I called my problem out and I said God this is my problem and my problem is uh, that I have a uh, leprosy and when I gave God uh, my problem uh, and asked him uh, a definite request uh, then uh, the Bible declares uh, that Jesus uh, said uh, yes I will uh, yes I will uh, yes I will heal you yes I will deliver uh, yes I will make free uh, and it don't take me long uh, to deliver it doesn't take me long uh, to set you free uh, all you need uh, is a mind uh, and a definite request and my worship my worship is when I get Woo! my worship is when I get transparent with God and say God I got this problem God there's an issue and my worship brings me into transparency my brother and my good Judy may not understand my friend may not understand but it's God that says I see what you're saying and as long as I am transparent with God then and only then then and only then will God say now, 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 now I'm going to heal you. Now I'm going to deliver you. Now I'm going to set you free. Now I'm going to do it. And it won't take me longer. The Bible declares that it happened immediately. It happened suddenly. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's going to happen suddenly. It's going to happen quickly. It's going to happen right before your eyes. You're going to look up and it's going to turn around. I dare you to get up at your seat and turn around one good time as a symbol that God is turning my situation around. He's turning my progress around. I'm not going to hold on anymore to my problem. I'm not going to hold on anymore. You made my problem. May have tried to identify me with it, but I'm not going to hold on anymore. But I'm coming to God in full transparency, saying, God, I need your help. God, I know you're able. What it may have taken me 20 years to get over, you can do it at one instant. And I believe you because my worship got me a reward of yes.
we have to realize that worship, see in the African American church, we think worship is one so song, and then somebody just lay prostrate. But worship is full transparency. The problem we have is a lot of us, if you didn't grow up in an affirming church, you have to live a lie in the traditional church you came in. And so the, the enemy in the world trains us to live lies, to act like we don't have a problem. And then when we act like we got a problem, even in the affirmative world, when we see you got a problem, we come against you and we judge you. And we condemn you. But the Bible declares, ye did which are spiritual. Minister Kamora, restore such a one. And get this in the spirit of meekness. Meekness means, Minister Dave, I'm gonna help restore you, but I'm gonna be careful because it can happen to me too. I can fall too. And see, what we do is we wanna go against people and we wanna judge them and say, you an alcoholic, you, you a weed head, you all of this, you got anger issues. But then we don't restore them in the spirit of meekness and they don't feel like they can get free and they stay like that because we don't restore them back in the spirit of meekness. And how we do it is I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna help you. And while I'm helping you, I'm still careful to say, God, remember me. Because I know Mama Clara, I know where God brought me from. I know some of us, we one step from the street and can go back. I'm one step from my addiction that God delivered me from. And if God don't help me, I'm going to go back. But if I help restore somebody back, I can say, God, remember them, but keep me at the same time. Worship brings you to a place that we realize that it's God that delivers us and sets us free. I talked about leprosy because leprosy was something that was considered what we call an enigma in the community. Leprosy was something that separated people. Leprosy was something that opened the door for jealousy, I'm sorry, for rejection to walk in. And I wanna come against the spirit of rejection that's in this house that wants you to feel like you're not accepted and the beloved. The Bible says in Ephesians 1 and 6, 6, that I believe that you are accepted in the beloved. Meaning amongst us and amongst Jesus, I'm accepted. My mother and my father may have forsaken me. And the Bible declares, David says, then would the Lord take me up. And he'll bring me to himself. I didn't want to preach a message this morning that jumped and shouted at you because worship is a, worship is a thing that's thought provoking. Worship is a thing that make you think and say, Everything I've been doing, all the mask, I'm gonna be like Vicky Winers, all the mask I had on my face so that I can, so I can hide because I don't wanna go through the shame of people knowing what I really go through. I don't want people to go through the, sh know that I, I, I'm, I wrestle with suicide. I wrestle with killing myself because I feel like that I messed up so bad and my, my brighter days are not ahead of me. I put on a mask so you don't see me. And I come to church and say, praise the Lord. Bless you. How you doing? Or sometimes I just come in and mean mug everybody because I'm hurting on the inside. And then everybody got an attitude with me because they don't understand why I'm mean mugging. And sometimes you got to look beyond people's fault and see their need. And realize that may, they may be just having a bad day today, but they got that mask on. But when I get into worship, the mask can come off. And he sees me for who I am. And the good thing is he doesn't reject me. He doesn't push me away. What he says is, come unto me. I was talking to a brother this week, and I was reread a scripture, how Jesus said that when you come to me, I will in no wise reject you. I may go to my mom and my daddy. I may go to the pastor I, I formerly came from. They may reject me because I'm in my truth. But Jesus, when I come to him, he said, I can no wise reject you because you came to me. And I want to let you have a moment of worship today. A moment of worship to think to yourself as we're getting ready for this revival. As I said, that's coming. Habitation is going to be awesome. We've been through a storm powerhouse. And God is selling us. And he's given us the ability to be refreshed. When people hear revival, they think, you know, if you grew up in a Baptist church down south, it was the mourner's bench. It was a time when people came with their big hats and all that stuff. And then if you grew up in a Pentecostal church like us, we lived in revival. Every service was a revival. Wednesday, Bible study, choir rehearsal, everything was a revival. What it was was a sense of awakening, bring you from death to life. So today I want to pray 
And we want to we want to we want to pray for people to come from death to life. Somebody's in here. There are on. I can hear in the spirit world, in the spirit realm. You know that the machine that says beep 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 beep. You're in the spirit and you're dying today. You may not be dying physically, but you're dying to your purpose and you're dying to your destiny. I need somebody to come out of your own mindset and everything you've done and say, God, I surrender to what you call me to do. A part of my mantle is to charge gifts. A part of my mantle is to awaken gifts and quicken callings as a prophet of God. And I want you to know if God can bring me as a person that wrestled with a lot of low self-esteem, tried to commit suicide twice, didn't come from a, didn't come from, everybody look at me how I dress and how I am. They would think my mother was a saint and supervisor of women in the church God in Christ. So, well, at church I used to be, I used to be cogent. And uh, they would think that I was coming from my, my daddy was a deacon, but no, in all actuality, my daddy died in a drug house trying to get high in Calumet Heights. When I was 18 years old, my mother was just a praying single woman that put me through high school. Make sure I got to college. I was the first person in my family to graduate from college. But this is from a person that came from the west side of Chicago, where they said nothing good comes from the west side. Be careful. Nothing good comes from the west side. This comes from a person that lived by the Henry Horner Projects. This is from a person that my mama was raised in Robert Taylor Projects. And all we knew was gangs, and all my uncles, all my, all my cousins were gang bangers. I'm the only one that's really saved in my family. But if God can take me, and if the streets was what was calling for me, if prostitution was calling for me, let me be real, if prostitution was calling for me, because I found out early on that I was a handsome young man, and somebody wanted, and sometimes, I'm going to be real, I'm going to free somebody, that somebody would have paid to have a, just one night with me. But God had to let me know there was something greater than me selling my body. There was something greater than me sitting up somebody talking to somebody so I can get $200 just to make it through the day. There was something greater on the inside. And I had to get out of my mind about my whole circumstance, the leprosy that God delivered me from. I said, God, if you could deliver me from this leprosy, and if you could make me to be the prophet, the pastor, most of all, the man of God that you called me to be, and I'll say yes to you. But it didn't come until I got transparent. It didn't come until I put a definite request out there. Because sometimes we've been talking church, they'll say, yell out what you want. And you know your person they see, they know you, they're gonna probably listen to what you say. And then say, uh-huh, yeah, so-and-so. They say they want God to deliver them from so-and-so. Did you know they did with devil so-and-so? Uh-uh. I'm not worried about what you think about me because he realized the leper didn't worry about what they thought. He said, I gotta get to Jesus. And I'm gonna confess, I'm a leper. He cried out until he got to Jesus, unclean, unclean. He cried out his condition. And when he got to Jesus, he said, I'm going to bow down. And I'm going to say, this is what I am. And now that I'm saying this is what I am, will you make me clean? And the good thing about Jesus, he said, I will make you clean. Yeah, there's a yes in here today. There's a yes that God wants to give. Hallelujah. Everyone's standing all over the building. It ain't even one o'clock yet. I told you it was gonna be an Easter speech. I feel led to do this. I want you to grab your neighbor by the hand and we're gonna pray this morning. We're gonna pray because God wants to unite in us the spirit of unity. And the reason why I'm grabbing your, neck, my, your hand is because we can't go up together unless we have one mind. Pente with Pentecost, it works through this one thing. Pentecost works through unity. The Bible says they were all together on one accord, one accord. So right now, while the music's playing, I want you to begin to pray for your neighbor. If you don't know how to pray for your neighbor, pray like you want somebody to pray for you. Saying, God, I want you to bless my neighbor. I ask you, Father, that you make them a holy millionaire. I ask that you bless their going in, go bless their going out. Father, I ask you that you make their way successful and easy. Father, I ask that you bind the devil that tries to come against them and tell them that they can't do what you called us to do. Father, come on, pray for your neighbor. Lift your voices, pray for your neighbor. Let's not be selfish in this moment. And let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. 
you know, number Hosiah. Do it for my neighbor. Do it for my brother. Do it for my sister. I need you to bless them because, God, you're about to bless them. And this thing that's fighting them is going to make them forfeit what you have for them. And God, we bind up the spirit of abortion that we should try to make them feel like God, that they can't do and be what you call them to be, but they want to abort purpose. Father, don't let them abort purpose this morning. Come on, pray for your neighbor. Come on, pray for them like you want to pray for yourself. And as you pray for your neighbor, I'm going to pray for you, but let's pray for your neighbor. Let's get a spirit of unity. And that spirit of unity is I'm giving up on myself. I'm not worried about myself. I'm not worried about what I have to do. I'm not worried about what I got going on. But I'm going to surrender myself to my, my neighbor right now. I'm going to stand as an intercessor. I'm going to stand. I may not be on the Shamar team, but I'm going to stand as an intercessor. And I'm going to pray for my neighbor. I'm going to pray you through I'm going to pray you through to the other side. I know it's hard. I know it's not easy. I know it's hard. I know it's not easy. I need you, Father. I need you, Father. I need you, Jesus. Come on, keep praying. Keep praying. Come on, their neck, they're close to their breakthrough. They're close. They're close. They're close. They're close. They're close. They're close to their breakthrough. Come on, I want God to do it. I want God to do it for my sister. They're going through this morning. They don't understand how they're going to make it. But God, you know her. God, you understand. God, you see. And God, you know what they're fighting against. Now, God, be Jehovah Gabor. Fight on their behalf. Fight on their behalf. Fight on their behalf. Fight for them. Fight for them. They need, it. They need strength. They need strength to fight. They need strength to hold on. They need strength to know that it's going to be okay. I'm coming through this you're coming through this you're not gonna work you're not gonna break break you're gonna break through you're gonna break through break through break through break through you're gonna break through this you're gonna break through this it's not gonna take you over but it's gonna take you over it's gonna take you over into it's not gonna take you under but it's gonna take you into hallelujah 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 I'm going beyond this. I'm going beyond this. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your hands all over the building. Come on, I'm going beyond this. I'm going beyond this. I'm pressing. I'm pressing. I'm pressing. I'm pressing beyond this. I'm going beyond this. I'm going beyond this. I'm going to my destiny. I'm going to my destiny. I'm going to what God has called for me to do. I'm going to my destiny. I'm going to my destiny. I'm going to what God has called for me to go. This is not my final destination. This is not my final destination and I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving beyond the break. I'm pressing beyond the break and I'm going to be everything that God has called me to be. Now, Father, we come against and we set ourselves against the spirit of low self-esteem, against the spirit of fear. For God, you have not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Father, move on forgiveness out of our heart. God, I can't forgive, but help me. Help me to forgive. Help me to forgive them. Help me to forgive them. God, it hurt. God, it hurt. But God, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me to forgive. Help me to let it go. Help me to see my enemy, not as my enemy, but as my brother and my sister. Help me, God. Help me. Me, Father, help me, God, help me not to fight against my brother and my sister. I come against strife, strife, strife that fights against us being unified, strife that fights against us being who you said that you want us to be. God, now I lose a spirit of unity, 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 unity. I lose the spirit of unity. God, we shall be unified. We shall be unified because God, if I have hatred in my heart, you said you wouldn't regard my prayers. So God, this morning, I'm leading us in prayer and saying, God, help us, help us, help us. And now I command sickness and affliction to go, to go. Cancer, you got to go. Diabetes, you have to go. In the name of Jesus. 
Shatamaha. There is a cure, and the cure is the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood in the lymphatic system, the blood, the blood in the mind, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood now. We plead the blood. Let God, let healing now. Let healing heal. Abaha. Heal, heal, heal the mind, heal the thought patterns, heal, 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 heal. Heal this morning. I need you to heal. God, somebody is wrestling. Somebody is wrestling. They're wrestling with some issues. They're wrestling with some problems. But God, you're able to heal. God, you're able to deliver in the name of Jesus. Woo. Come on, let's worship him. Stay right there, 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 stay right there. Stay right there. Hallelujah. I, I give you my all today. I give you my all today. Hey, I give you my all today. 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 I give you my all, I give you my all, I give you my all today. I give you my all today. I give you my all today. I give you my all, I give you my all, I give you my all today. I give you my all today. I give you my all, I give you my all. I give you my all, I give you my all, I give you my all today. Hey, I give you my all today. I give you my all today. I give you my all, I give you my all, I give you my all today. I give you my all today. I give you my all today. I give you my all. Hey, I give myself away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. I'm not a singer. I give myself away. So you. This is between you and God. So you, you and God. I give myself away. Give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. It's a you to man's prayer. I give myself away. It's not my own. Hallelujah. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself to you. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself, I give myself to you. Hallelujah. I give myself away. Oh, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Heal today, God. Heal today. I give myself away so you can use My life me. is not my own. My life is 
this morning. I give myself away. I'm recommitting myself back to God. Hallelujah. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you. So you. Can you speak? Song says, hallelujah. Hey. And I won't go back. I can't go back to the way. Tell him, I'm not going back. And I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. And I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. Never going back. Never going back. Don't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. Hallelujah. I want to, the Lord is showing some people to me I want to prophesy to this morning. Amen. I want to, the, the spirit of worship is in this place, and I, forgive me, I'm not a singer. I got good singers over there. I can hear it, but I can't sometimes sing it right. I'm a little tone deaf at times. Y'all pray for me. Amen. I want to give this word. I want to encourage our youth um, on the way to church this morning. Um, Jayla and TJ brought, dropped in my spirit. And if you all don't mind standing, if you don't mind standing, both of you, yes ma'am, you too. Especially you, TJ. God, wanted, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Grace wants me to let you know that he's going to begin to use you as, and I hear this, as an ambassador to your, to your high school that you're going to. He said the things that you've gone through have been have been rough and they've been tough, but God says there's a story that you're going to be able to help other young women and young men too. He said the same evangelist anointing that's even on your aunt is actually a generation anointing that's on your whole family. And it's going to begin to flow to you. You're going to begin to feel people be more drawn to you. And I see you in I see you in school and people are going to be able to come more to you. And I see that as you begin to, as you're with Jayla, I see your prayer life being increased. You're praying more. You're reading scripture more, you're going to begin to teach other young people about how to study scripture, how to understand things. I see books coming out of you. I see, when I was saying, I see books coming out of you. I see that pen of a writer that's going to come out. You're going to write a book for trans young women about being a top, a topical Bible. God's going to use you. He began to deal with me heavily when I was coming to church about you. And he wants you to know that you are special to him. And the gifts you have are, have not been seen yet. There's going to be a great awakening that God's going to cause that happen for you. That's gonna be, it's going to blow your mind. 
There were dreams that you had when you were five, when you were very, very young. You were a dreamer, and sometimes you go with your mother, and she would, you would try to tell her this, and she didn't even understand what you were dreaming about, but God said he's going to allow the dreams of your future. You also draw. Do you draw? as well he, uh -huh, uh -huh. he says because you draw he's going to allow you to begin to paint pictures and as uh, mm, have you painted yet have you started painting yet do you want to paint a little bit you mostly do sketches right okay okay so God is going to, there's going to be times, there's a heavy, Minister Jovan, there's a heavy worship life that's going to come upon her, where she's going to be just in her double hosaya, in her room, and it's just going to come upon her heavy. And I want you to start drawing. What you're going to draw is a revelation of Jesus Christ. That's the spirit of prophecy. And I want it because God wants me to encourage you that you, you are going so far and you're going so well in your journey. And it, as you linked up to her and he linked up to Naya as well, it's going to begin to begin to burn in you another desire for prayer. And God's going to feed with the Holy Ghost not too many days hence as well. That gift you've been asking for, he's going to fill you. And Mr. Jovan, I see money coming for her. I see money coming for her. I see Kabahosia Dabaha. You will not be Dabahosia Dabahaya. Ilabahosia Nabaha. Ilabahosia Nabahaya. Ilabahosia Nabaha. I see money coming to you. And what I mean by that, you won't have to want for nothing, TJ. Damasai, you won't want for nothing. You'll be able to write a check for anything your family needs. Because he said he's placing the anointing on you to be the, what they call the kinsman redeemer. The kinsman redeemer was the one, the only one in the family that brought restoration, that brought redemption to everybody in their family. And the one that they threw away, the one that they didn't understand, is going to be the one that God's going to bless. You are the one to bring blessings to your family. And so from this day forward, she is blessed. She is blessing the city. She is blessed. Point your hand that way. She's blessing the field. She's blessing everything that she does. Her hands, your hands are even anointed. Minister Claire, I want you to get this oil. Mother Claire, can you anoint her, anoint her hands for me? I want you to anoint her hands for me because there's an anointing. Amen. There's a reason why I'm having Mother Claire do because she's going to be anointed as a mother. And you're going to need a transgenerational anointing of a mother to be transferred upon you. That God's going to bless you. That anointing to write has now come upon you. And we thank God for Jayla. The anointing on you of the evangelist is going to become very much stronger. Very, very much stronger. It's going to be so much stronger on you because he said you are an example. You are an example. And read what I mean by an example. He's going to use you to draw other young women in. I see a club at your school that you're going to, you're going to start. And it's actually you're going to be in the club and they're going to ask you to be a leader of it, okay? Uh-huh. Because you hide from all of your leadership abilities. There's such a leader on the inside of you. Even when you dance, sometimes you, what you're doing prophetically is releasing new dance moves into the earth realm. And so that's why sometimes it comes upon you. You be like, God, should I do this? God, should I do that? Should I go that way? Because what he's doing is he's using you as a leader and as an example. You've been used to following, but now God is saying you're going to be set forth as an example. So I want you to watch this next school year and then following school year, God's going to give you favor. I want you to stop holding back on what God put on his inside of you. The spirit of prophecy is on you. You shall prophesy. You shall prophesy. You shall prophesy. I see the spirit of pro I see when I was talking to you, I see an open mouth over you. And what God's going to do is have you speak out the word of God. So for a season, he's going to have you get quiet. Get very quiet. You're not going to be a woman. You'll be a young woman. Very, very few words. Only because when you stand up to minister to your generation, it's going to cause for you to step forth and speak the word of the Lord. And you need to make sure that when you speak his words, it's his and not Jesus. Okay? So for a season, he gonna, and you're going to feel this hush come over your spirit. It's going to just quiet you. All the rewrites you're doing, you're not crazy. You're going to look at people and say, I ain't got nothing to say. They're like, Jenny, you got nothing to say? I ain't got nothing to say. I'm good. And the reason why is because he's preparing you to be his mouthpiece. When you, the next season you go into, he's going to allow you to have an experience with him of being an open mouth. Meaning whatever he says, say what you hear. Say what you hear. Say what you hear. Because there, there's a generation of young women waiting on you. There's young women around you that's going to get pregnant, I see. They're going to get pregnant. You ain't going to get pregnant. Hear me. You ain't. Bet not. And so <laughs> the thing is, they're going to come to you for, for uh, like, you. God's going to pray for you a motherly anointing as well. 
to play to really to mother them to understand them. Okay, so I'm I'm down two years into your. What grade are you in now? You're a junior. I'm down two years. Okay, I'm down two years in your high school in your high school years. Okay, in your college years. You're going to college too. I want you to start looking because you're going to college. You are going to college. And when you go to college, God's going to allow you to start a prayer group on that college campus. He's going to open the door for you. And I, and I released a financial. I saw a grant just come down to you right then and there. I saw a grant. I released it. If I be a prophet of God, I know I am. He's releasing a grant over you. You're going to go to school. And you're going to go away to school. I want you to go away to school. Because when you go away, he's going to give you the ability on that campus to start a revival and to start a prayer group, okay? What you're getting here, I want you to do what the old folks should say, can it. What they used to do back in the day was they would get preserves and they put it in a can and they would put, put, put it in a can and hold it for another time, right? So they put grapes and stuff like that and make grape um, jelly. Now yeah, preserve it. I want you to can everything you get in this ministry yeah. because it's not for here, it's for there. Yeah. It's for there. It's for there. Yeah. Because God is saying, there's, I, I'm seeing... I'm seeing a group of young women just come your way, and they're going to be attracted to your voice that you have on the inside of you. So this next season is going to get quiet. It's going to be like, I don't know, I ain't going to say, I ain't got nothing to say, because he's going to prepare you to be his voice. And it's not going to happen to everybody around you. That gift going to come alive when you go away. Amen? Amen. Let's thank God for Jesus. Let's thank God for our young people. These are two of our leading ladies of our church. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with them. Y'all can sit down. Amen. Y'all can sit down. Hallelujah. Sister Dominici, I want you to come to me right quick, if you can. I want to bind this demon that's trying to afflict you. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. A lot of this is, I'm not old, let me stand up. A lot of this is tied to stress a lot of this is tied to stress yes Lord it's tied to stress you're trying to make it work you're trying to make it happen but God says he said increase your prayer life I feel that you'll see up increase your prayer life increase your prayer life he said because if you pray more it'll release Abba said Hold me, baby, I see every release this anxiety off of you. And the anxiety, I speak to you now. And I curse you at the root. I decree and declare that she is not going to have vertigo. Oh, say vertigo in the name of Jesus. I curse you now from the root. Hold! Hold me, I saw. I command you to come out now in the name of Jesus. I command peace, the peace of the Lord. I command Jehovah Shalom to be your portion now in the name of Jesus. And I command that your mind is regulated. You shall have peace. I bind up night terrors. I bind it up now in the name of Jesus. You worrying about where you're going to, how it's going to do, what it's going to do. I release wealth, 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 wealth. Oh, Shanda Baha. Wealth now, wealth in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you should not worry anymore, but you shall walk in the freedom of God and vertigo, anxiety, everything associated with dizziness. Leave now in the name of Jesus. She is declared whole, whole, whole. Oh, bye -bye. In the name of Bahosia and Bahaya. In the name of the ocean, in the name of Jesus, in your name, Jesus, come on, Zion, help me pray. Come on, Zion, help me pray. And everything that you carried in here with, everything that you don't tell anybody about, I lose the peace of God and your mindset. I lose the mindset of God. You have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. You shall think. You shall not worry. You shall not doubt. Handabasia. I lose off of you now this feeling of heaviness. Heaviness, you got to go. More greater decisions shall be made out of Hosiah, out of a heal place. Heal. Heal. 
heal now, Obaha. Heal, Obaha. Heal, Obaha. You're making decisions out of a broken place, but now you should make decisions out of a healed place. You're healed, woman. Thou art loose, woman. Thou art loose, loose, loose. Come on, help me say loose, loose, loose. She's loose, Obaha. She's going to make decisions from a heel place now. Yes, Jesus. Now I pray for you. Hallelujah. Bahaso. I hear the Holy Ghost saying that he's giving you peace in this season. He wants you to make peace with your past. Peace with your past. What you did is under the blood of Jesus and it cannot be brought back up. He wants you to make peace with your past. Ah, peace. Ah, peace with your past. He's going to open up another financial door of, of uh, employment is coming to you. And he's opened it up this time. He said, you're going to keep it this time. I hear that. You're going to keep it this time. You're going to keep it this time. You see lack. You see people walk out. But Father says to you today that I've never left you, my son. Wherever, neither will I leave you nor forsake you. And he's strengthening you in your prayer life. Abba said. In your prayer life. Abba I wake up your prayer. I wake up this prayer wheel. And the video shanda baha. I stir you to prayer, man of God. I stir you to prayer. I stir you, O Baha, to prayer. I stir you to consecration. Another level of consecration. He said, this time, when you go to ask me to do something, it's going to work. He said, because the iron heaven is broken over you, man of God. And he says, now, since the iron heaven is broken over you, you shall now see the rain. The rain is coming, man of God. The rain is coming. I'm raining down. I'm raining down on you to be your shot. I'm raining down on you. I'm raining down on you. Those dry places, they shall not be anymore. And I'm healing your heart from that past relationship that tried to take you out. That past relationship that you thought that you weren't going to get out of. I'm healing. Now preach. Now preach. Now preach. You a preacher. You a preacher. Wake up. Wake him up now. Wake him up. Wake up that preacher in him. For you should declare the word. You shall declare the word in the marketplace, says God. You're called to the marketplace and I call for the entrepreneur that's on the inside of you. I call it out now. I call for your LLC. I call it into existence now. Abba soul. He said the reason why you've been through so much turmoil with other positions is because you will learn what it feels like when he makes you the head and makes you a manager. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Baha said, and I release upon you the wealth now, wealth transfer. In the name of Jesus. Come on, church, help me pray this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. And we praise you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you the honor, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, strengthen this soul this morning. Strengthen this soul this morning. This soul is looking for strength. This soul is looking for strength. One of God, I hear the Lord saying that you have found a place of acceptance. You have found a place of acceptance. You are now accepted in this place. You are no longer rejected, but you have found a place of acceptance. I break off of you the past rejections of everybody that didn't understand you, but I loose upon you now the spirit of acceptance, the spirit of acceptance, acceptance where your mother, 
didn't understand you. I loose upon you now. Accept it. Where your father had not understood you. I loose upon you the power of acceptance. You are now accepted. Now go forth and be what God has ordained for you to be. I command you to come out. I command you to come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out of that place. Come out into a new place. I'm walking you into your destiny. I'm walking you into your destiny. You will no longer be in the back, but you're coming to the front. You're in the front now. Hold your shot. You never hold seeing that ever higher. You're in the front. You're no longer in the back. You're no longer in the back. You're now in the front. And God says you're now the head and not the tail. We loose upon you the spirit of wealth. Wealth transfer. Wealth in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Ho, ho. Come on, help her. Praise God. Come on, help her. Praise God. Come on, help her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey. Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on. Let's help her. Praise God. Woo. Yes, Lord. Come on. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, Zion. Just help me pray. I'm helping somebody pray through her. You know the whole shit that behind you. You know the whole shit that behind Yes, Lord. Come on, Zion. Come on. Open your mouth and tell him, yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say, yes, Lord. Come on, as you tell him, yes. He comes in and a yes. He comes in and a yes. You know, the whole she know the behind Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on, Zion. Help me tell God, yes. Help me say, yes. Help me say, yes. Help me tell God, yes. Yes, Lord, to your will. Yes, Lord, to your way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Come on, Zion. Come on, help me pray. Help me pray. Help me pray. Because God is healing. God is healing. God is delivering. God is setting free. God is healing now. Healing now. Healing now. Heal. Hey, this depression. Heal. Ho, Shandabaha. Heal. This depression. Lift your little Osiah. Little Osiah. Let her have joy. Let her have joy. Joy, mother. Joy. 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 It's going to work this time. Joy. 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 Oh, Baba Ha. You did the Hosaya. I lift off for you. Depression. I lift off for you. The guilt. I lift off for you. What the devil tried to make you not be. Sickness. I bind you up now. In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Lose your hold now. Diabetes. You got to go. Diabetes. Break your hold now. Lose your hold now. In the name of Jesus. And God. Free her. Free in her mind. Come out of the mind now. Bring it Oh, she in the baha. Loose joy. I lose joy. Come up, baba, 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 ha. You know the radio shut up. Let's Lord. Come on, heads on. Help me say yes, Lord. Help me say yes, Lord. Help me say yes. 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 Hey. Shut the double hosa. You shall not die, but you shall live. You shall not die, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. You shall not die, but you shall live. You shall not die, but you shall live. You shall live. You shall live. Lay your hands in her belly. You shall live. You shall not die, but you shall live. Hey, Hobaba said, Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. He the ocean that about. Come on, Zion, help me say, come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. You're not done yet. You're not finished yet. You're not finished yet. You're not done yet. I'm anointing your hands to work. I'm anointing your hands to work. It's going to be a shatamaya and a Yes. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel joy. I feel joy. Joy. I feel joy. Joy. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Help me pray. Help me pray. Help me pray. Help me pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Go help her pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. He said he's going to give you a joy back. 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 It's been hard, Brown, but he's going to give you a joy back. It's been hard, but he's going to give you a joy back. It's going to work this time. It's going to work this time. Yes, 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 Come on, Zion. Help me tell God yes. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Hey. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on. He said, the Lord said, come out of your hiding place. It's time to be used now. It's time for you to be used now. He's going to use you like you've never been used before. I awaken your destiny. I awaken your calling. It's more than singing. It's more than activism. I awaken purpose. I awaken destiny now. Come alive. Hey, come alive. Lay your hands in the belly. Come alive. Hey. Woo. Hey, hey, hey. Come alive. Oh. Oh, ba, 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 ba. Come alive now. Come, come alive, alive. Come, come alive. Come alive. Come, come alive. alive. Come alive. Come alive. Hey. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. The dreams of your past. The dreams of your past. Hit it up a whole sea. They're coming alive now. Hit it up a whole sea. Yes, Lord. Come on, Bree. Come on, Bree. I hear the Lord say, come on. I can use you now. Come on. I'm going to use you now in ministry. In ministry. Ministry was forsaken for you in the past. But God says, come on now. Come on. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He's doing a new thing. 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 He's doing it right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 Look at your neighbor and say, I'm coming out of this. 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 Woman of God, prophetess, getting an owl. And God says, you're getting an owl. You're coming out of this. You're coming out of what is the evidence. The enemy is called about over you. He says he's called you as a mouthpiece in this last and evil day. And God is saying, you're coming out now. You're coming out now. He says he's bringing beauty for your ashes. I see ashes. But now God is saying, there's beauty that's coming for your ashes. There's beauty. Hallelujah. Uh, and I'm going to restore a relationship with an older lady that you fell out of relationship with. God says, I'm restoring the Messiah. I dare you to turn around three times. As you turn around, one for the two, three. He said, he just restored you. He just restored. He just restored. Let, woo, ho, ho. Hey. Come on, church. Open your mouth and tell him, yes, Lord. Open your mouth and tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Yes, Lord. Soul say yes. Soul so say yes. Soul says yes. Soul 
The Holy Ghost told me to tell you, Drew, that when you step into the aisle, it's a new season for you. It's a new season. It's going to happen the way he told you it's going to happen. I don't know what your happen is, but you know. God says it's going to happen the way he told you it's going to happen. And you just stepped into a new season. Everything that was hard, everything that was hard for you has just been broken off for you. When you stepped into this aisle, he says, I just awakened purpose. I just reawakened destiny in your life. And he said, the hard thing is no longer going to be. He said, because you have entered into a new season. A new season. Hey, new season. 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 Hey, new season. New season. New season. New season. It's your time. It's your season. It's your time. It's your season. It's your time. It's your season. It's your time. Man of God, man of God, I hear the Lord saying, pick back up your ministry. Pick back up your ministry, man of God. Pick back up your ministry. There's a writer in you. There's a writer in you. He says, pick back up your ministry. You put it down, but God says, pick back up your ministry. He said, pick it back up this time. He said, because this time it's him. That's talking to you. And I'm a Hosiah. You've been waking up all kinds of nights and finally wondering what's going on. And God said, It's been me. I've been trying to get your attention. He said, But pick back up your passion for ministry. And God says, He heals. He heals. He heals your heart. He heals your heart. For where they did double Hosea, under the Baha, where they rejected you. God says, He heals your heart. Under the Baha, where they didn't accept you before, where the organization, rejected you before he said this time under Messiah he said this time man of God I'm calling you to come out of the Devosa come out from the low place and come into the high place with me he said you are a worshiper you are a prayer warrior and he says he wakens he awakens it up in you he awakens he awakens it back up get back your passion get back your passion also, when I see you, I see a door of employment, a better employment, just open up for you. Obaha, Yee, yes, Lord. The Lord heal your body. The Lord heal your body. Hey, hey, hey. The Lord heal your body. Heal. 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 Yeah, heal. Wholeness. 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 I turn around what the doctor said. What the doctor said. It won't be. It won't be. In the level. Oh. 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 working out for me I've 
seen him do it. And I know it's working out for me. I've seen him do it. And I know it's working out for me. 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 It's working out for you. It's working out for me. It's working out for me. It's working out for me. I've seen him do it. And I know it's working out for me. I've seen God do it. And I know it's working out for me. Hallelujah. It's working out for me. 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 Andre, 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 come here. Malia, come here. Hold hands. I gotta recalibrate your spirits right. What I mean by recalibrate is there's gonna be a new study that God's gonna wake up in both of you all. And the word of God's gonna come alive. She's gonna flash for you like that. And it's gonna be downloaded to your heart, okay? And so I want you to take these. And I want you, I want you to consecrate with them for seven days. Wear them in your prayer time, okay? And then when you read the Bible, okay? And then God's gonna open up to you. Another level of his word and you're going to and it's going to come alive to you. He said, because as you drive, there's going to be people that's going to get in your car. That's going to feel the presence of the Lord. And I open up the word. All things new. 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 All things new, 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 all things new. All things new, all things new, all things new, 
all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new. All things new, all things new, all things new, all things new, all things new. All right. All things new. All right. All things new. All right. New car. We gonna get ready to go. New car. New job. All right. New Amen. Cars. The doors of the new church job. are open. They got Mr. New Javon, Evangelist Deer, Mr. Kamor, new all of our keys. leaders. Come new to keys. the Dio Shah. Hallelujah. Keys. Mm -hmm. New keys. New keys, new keys, new keys, new keys. All things new. Where's Deja? All things new. Deja, come here. All things new. All things new. The doors of the church All are open. New. Our evangelists are going. Give my, give my hand keys for me. The evangelists are going throughout the audience. If you don't have a church home and you say this is for me, I want you to. Get out, come, come meet us down at the altar and one of our ministers will accept you. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Come here, Christina. Evangelist dear, come here. I want you to tie this on your mother's arm. Mama, I want you to wear this. And as you wear this, God is saying he's going to awaken in you a new level of prayer, a new level of consecration. That place you've been asking God for, he said, I'm giving it to you now. I'm giving it to you now. Hey, we got powerhouse. We have one new member. Yes, Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Yee. Come on, help her dance. Hey, hey! Hallelujah. Powerhouse. Let's welcome. Let's welcome this brother to the household of faith. On behalf of our pastor, Apostle Bishop Keith Hyde McQueen, we welcome you. We say this is the first day of the best days of your life. And we decree and declare that your life will never be the same way that you came in. And we decree and declare that everything that was out of alignment now has stepped into alignment now that you have come into the right house. Hey, come on, powerhouse. Let's receive this great man of God. Let's say welcome home. Welcome home. Hallelujah. We're going to have you going to follow Evangelist Deer, she's going to take you down and help you obtain what you maintain. Hallelujah. Let's get a prophetic seed. I'm going to start it off with $30. Stephanie, when I was, before I went over there, God said he's going to give you your reward. He's going to reward you for all of the he all the heaviness, all the all of the attacks the enemy tried to send towards you. He said a great reward is coming your way. He said he's going to turn your mourning into dancing. Your latter days are better than your former days. All of your past is behind you. And now the and the future is bright. Get ready because there's a preacher inside of you. You're just not going to sing, but there's a preacher that God's going to open up to you and you're going preach in your own way and your own way of doing things. Amen. Let's get a prophetic seat. Where my deacons at? Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, he's a good guy. Going to have a good week this week. Remember to meet us on Wednesday night here. Wednesday night we're here for our seek session. Hallelujah. I need my phone. 
I'm going to sow, if you don't have it, I'm going to sow $30 today as a prophetic seed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mr. Kamora. And while you're sowing it, let's get our seed. Let's all stand so we can be dismissed. Amen. We thank God for all of our visitors that have come visit with us. Don't mind us. We're just a, man, we're just a rowdy crew. We're just a loud crew. And we thank you for worshiping with us this morning. Amen. Everyone stand so we can be able to go home. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Woo. I feel joy here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Everyone that has a seed, come down and sow. If you don't have it, please give on our cash app. Our amen. Swipers on this side. Hallelujah. If that, if that means anything else, meet us here Wednesday night. Hallelujah. Register tonight for the Habitation Gala. Get your tickets tonight if you don't have them. Father, we thank you for what you did in here today. We thank you for releasing Adabasia, the spirit of joy. We release it. Thank you for releasing us into purpose and into destiny. Father, we decree and declare that as we leave from this place, we're searching out for your presence, that we shall meet you again coming from this place on Wednesday night. Keep us, God, until we come together again. In Jesus' name, we pray. Shalom. You are dismissed.